This is an interesting counting problem. It's question number four of part two of San Diego Honors Mathematics Contest 2014. A school has a, a row of n open lockers numbered one through n. Starting at the beginning of the row, you walk past and close every second locker until reaching the end of the row, as shown in the example. Then you turn around, walk back, and close every second locker that is still open. You continue in this manner, back and forth, along the row, until only one locker remains open. Define function f of n to be the number of the last open locker. For example, if there are 15 lockers, then f of 15 equals 11. Calculate the value of function f of 2014. Let's assume that all lockers are assigned numbers from 1 to 2014, counting from left to right. We can track the number of the last open locker by using this simple table with just three columns. The first column contains the current number of the first open locker. The second column contains the balance of the remaining open lockers and the last column contains the current step of the arithmetic progression. For example, the first row of this table contains first locker number one, the balance is 2014 open lockers, and the step in this arithmetic progression is one. The second row contains such numbers after the first pass. The third row contains such numbers after the first pass back, etc. There are several simple rules in this table that follow from its definition. Since each pass in any direction closes every second locker, the step of the remaining arithmetic progression of open lockers is doubled. So the numbers in the third column are simply consecutive powers of two. You can also notice that in the first column, the first locker number is never changed after the pass in the straight direction, since each pass in the straight direction starts with the second locker. The locker with the number in the first column can be closed only after the pass back and only if the current balance of the remaining open lockers is even. If the balance is odd, then Obviously, the locker with the number in the first column remains open. For example, the second row in this table shows the pass back in which the balance of the open lockers is odd. That's why after this pass back, the number of the first open locker remains 1. In contrast, the fourth row of this table shows the pass back in which the balance of the remaining lockers is number 252, which is even, which is why after this pass back, the first open locker number becomes 9. The sum of the previous first locker number 1 and the current step equal to 8. You can verify that these simple rules are observed in the table shown on the screen in which the last straight pass has first open locker number 649. There are only two remaining open lockers. In this pass, the second open locker is closed, and the only remaining open locker has number 649. This is the answer to the question of this problem.